Is Trara on Steam? Yes. Ow. Uh, yeah, it's always been on Steam. For next to nothing. Like, that. that's the thing that I always find surprising about people that play it on consoles and stuff. Is like, yeah, I mean, if you have a console, whatever, and you don't have a PC that you can play it on. Fine, whatever. Um, I mean, if you have a, like, just a laptop or just... Like, most system, like, most PCs will be able to run this because it's not an intensive game. Um, but also, this is a, fr like, Terraria at full price on, on Steam is a fraction of what it is on console. Um, like, it's ridiculously cheaper. Um, like, cause the, the console versions are what? 30 quid? I think. I, I, I think the, I think the Switch version is stupidly expensive. Because, you know, it's the Switch. Um, but no, it's like, I, I don't know exactly how much it is, but it's a lot more expensive. Whereas on Steam, $6.99. In the UK, at least. So what, $10, I think? For a game that I've easily gotten. Uh, am, I, am I at 800 hours now? We have to look this up. It's going gonna, gonna to bug me otherwise. No, we're at seven. We're at seven five nine hours. So I keep saying eight hundred hours. It's it's now closer to eight hundred hours than it was seven hundred. But whatever. I mean, we're, uh, are we gonna be able to get um, forty hours just out of this playthrough? Mm, <laughs> depends how hard it's gonna be. Maybe. Uh, I think you you might be able to get it on like GOG and stuff. Also, this isn't spreading. Why is this not spreading? Like, not that I'm complaining, but I'm pretty sure this should be spreading, right? Or is it because of the clay? Please tell me it's because of the clay. Because that's hilarious if it is. Also, hey, look, the hallow's spreading. Yay! Look at all this. Oh, wow, that's really spread. Oh, wow, yeah, look, we've... Wow, okay. All right, we actually have a proper hallow thing now, so that's great. And we have a fishing pond as well, so if we want to fish in the hallow, there we go. But I, I mean, if people are going to get Terraria into Terraria, now's a great time to do it. Which is weird, considering, like, this is the last big update. So, it's weird that now is the time to get into it, sort of thing. But it's nice that, it, that people are getting back into it, because it is a great game that I've thoroughly enjoyed since release date, like I said. I'm just waiting for Terraria 2. And just throw something down. Peggle 2 style. God, that was such a weird announcement. Oh, yeah, just one more thing. Peggle 2. Don't know why I did that. Anyone know what I'm referring to, or am I just crazy per or am I just a crazy person? I mean, I am crazy. Yeah, I, I was expecting that response. But do you at least know what I'm on about? <laughs> oh, you didn't hear anything. Oh, but uh, I, I, was, I was talking about the announcement for Peggle 2 at E3 fucking several years ago. I don't know when it was announced. Uh, but the, uh, the guy that announced it... Uh, what was he doing? Because uh, it... it, it uh, is it... Is it Pop Cap? Cap? I don't know, something like that. Uh, that do like Bejeweled and Plants vs. Zombies and, and Peggle as well, funnily enough. Because um, I think he was talking about. Uh, I think it was when they announced Garden Warfare, like Plants vs. Zombies Pl uh, Garden Warfare. Um, he was talking about it because I remember the, someone dressed as one of the zombies super weirdly. Uh, Kill Stage Room and everything. Uh, and, then he, and then as he was finishing. Popcap, yeah, there you go. Uh, 
yeah, as he was finishing the announcement, he was like, oh, one more thing. Uh, and then it was like, oh, uh, I've got one more game to announce. Peggle 2. And then sort of did like a jump and like threw his arm down. Like not both his arm, just one. Like he was throwing something on the floor. No idea why. Uh, and, and then it was like, yeah, Peggle 2. I, I think we got a trailer after that. I can't remember though. <laughs> oh, I forgot the wand. Bollocks. Oh well. Gar, good old Peggle 2. Did I ever play Peggle 2? I played, I played, I played the first Peggle. Peggle's pretty good. There we go. So now the party girl can move in. So I do that. <sighs> yeah, I can't actually buy anything from him, which is dumb. You have no idea what Peggle is? Oh, Peggle's great. It's a it's a it's a puzzle game. Basically, um there's a bunch of pegs, funnily enough, on on the screen. I'm not gonna do that action again. Um and uh you shoot uh, like you have a ball at the top that you can aim and shoot. You basically have to hit all of the orange pegs on the screen uh to finish the level. Uh but you only have so many balls and everything. But there's also blue balls that give you <laughs> extra points uh for hitting. Uh, and stuff like that. Uh, it's it's really simple, but really fun. Uh, this is like different power-ups and stuff like that, depending on the character you use. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I'd i say check it out if you haven't if you haven't done so already. Blue balls. <laughs> yeah, I should, I, I should stop explaining what Peggle is. God, who'd have thought? Fucking Peggle. So, <laughs> great. Yeah, just title it Explaining Peggle. Uh, I don't know why I bother. Alright, we can... Uh, have I got any acorns left? I do. Put a couple of these down. Just to make it look sort of nicer. Use hay for the roof instead of leaves. Because we're at the beach. Duh. <laughs> that looks dumb. Uh, so what do you mean use hay? Is, is hay a thing? Oh, yeah, you use the sickle, don't you? I completely forgot about that. I never get the sickle, that's why. Leaves suck, change your mind. Wow, rude. By extension, you say my house design is bad? That's cool. I'm gonna go cry now. Boop. Oh, I've just unplugged my headphones. God, I need to go do it. Uh, leaves at eight. I'll take it. Uh, actually, I need to grab these, these. Oh, wait. Although she's not there currently, she does technically live there. Uh, I'm in a, uh, I'm too far from my tools. Lovely, I get to keep myself. Wait, what? I'm too far from my tools. Lovely, I get to keep myself. Oh, I get to keep to myself. I studied my tendencies about distraction. Oh, I see. She's saying it's a good thing that she's not near her tools. Right, okay. Whatever. So I do have to wait for her to be over there. Fucking great. Right, stop myself. Good. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad. Uh, where did I put it? There it is. Hopefully she's over there by the time we get there.
We dead. The other thing, the most satisfying thing about having wings or golden horseshoe is just jumping super high up and then just falling and then just not having to worry about it. So, so satisfying. Okay, queen. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Yes, queen. Oh, fuck, it didn't work. Shut up. Leave me alone. I'm tired. So I'm blaming it on. Or maybe I should just admit I'm not funny. It's probably the right thing to do. God, I can't wait until I get this set up so I don't have to fucking run here every two seconds. <sighs> that shit hasn't turned up. Great. Did the angler just poof out of existence? He just, he just got Thanos snapped, what? That was new. Yeah, that works. It's a bit iffy, but... It just makes it look like the leaves are sort of sticking out and stuff, it's fine. They teleport at night, do they? I don't think so. I thought they just. I I thought they're meant to teleport whenever. Uh, it's just when they deload and reload, I guess. They come back during the day. So like he won't respawn until the daytime. What's at night? Oh, that was convenient. <laughs> no, he teleported when I was over here. works. Yeah. Actually, no, yeah, it might have been when I was working at night. Hmm, maybe. Uh, right, well, that's those two sorted, so that's fine. Uh, we just need to do the hallow and snow, which, I mean, the hallow is grown now, so that's fine. Uh, let's have a look, shall we? And PC. Uh, housing, do, 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 do. do you like teleport? That has a fucking spell. Uh, they can be transported there by housing them there and waiting for the night. They'll be teleported to the house at night once on screen. Oh, it is at night. Oh, I did not know that. Or by using king or queen statues. Oh, I didn't know that's what they did. Uh, oh, teleports a random male NPC to the statue's location. Right, okay. Um. Um. I mean, I could just be very, very dirty minded. But that looks like a penis, right? Slightly. Alright, okay then. Yeah, cool. Not just me, that's fine. Alright, well, we'll wait over here until night time then. Because, uh, once it's night time, we can. Uh, actually, should we. I don't have any more icons, rip. Let's go put a tree here. Everything looks like a tick. <laughs> that's fair. But yeah, look, we can start fishing now, so that's nice. Because this shouldn't give us a debuff. Uh, when we're throwing, uh, when we're fishing, so. Yay! Uh, I've still got the, I've not been using the Nimbus rod at all. Maybe because it's shit. <laughs> Use the right torches I have. Look, I've used the coral torches. There they are. 
We actually get good luck here. Uh, but yeah, Grass, they have... Uh, I don't know if you were here when I mentioned it, but they have gotten rid of the bad debuff. Uh, or, like, the negative debuff of luck from normal torches. So normal torches just don't give you luck or take away luck. They just don't do anything. Um, but placing the wrong torch in the wrong place does still give you negative stuff. Yeah, just normal ones don't do anything anymore, which is the way it should have been. Hey, there she is. <laughs> that was convenient. Shop. Hey, ocean pylon. I get to uh, I get to keep to myself and study my technique without distraction. It's it's nice calm atmosphere for cutting hair in the ocean. Oh no, this is the hairstyle. It's not the party girl. What am I on about? I don't know why the stylist wants to be there then. Maybe they couldn't think of anyone else to put in the ocean. What it probably feels like Sint. <laughs> wow. Okay, guys. Thanks for that. Uh, how much do I need? Uh... Oh, I still need... I need, like, two gold, probably. About that. It's night time. Where is everything? Two platinum. See, if I was able to get my money farm set up, two platinum is fucking nothing. What's the method you're using? Great. The, the one time I want things to spawn and nothing does. Typical. Like when I'm trying to build a house. Oh no. The, the fucking armada is going to turn up. Nah. Nah. As, so as soon as I actually want things to turn up. Nope. Nothing. Just a mob grinder. Fair enough. So the method I use uses the uh, lucky coin and stuff, uh, which I can now get. I can actually start fight. I, uh, I need a slime staff as well. <sighs> oh, it's getting pretty ass. So wait, are you, are you using the lava method where you just kill everything with lava, which is fair enough because that's probably what I'm going to do with the pirate stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that over here. So. Uh, probably dig this out a little bit, uh, put lava at the bottom here, um, and then make it so uh, when I do the pirate invasion, the pirates will come over, die in there, give me loads of money, but then they'll also drop pirate maps, so I can just keep doing it. So, that's pretty nice. Um, actually, should we do that now? Gives us money. And weapons. I do need... Oh, I need an NPC with me, though. That's the only issue. 
That's not bad. I could just move the tavern keeper there or something. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I am actually going to do that, I think. It's probably the smartest thing we could do. Uh, actually, let me grab everything that I need first. Uh, I need lava buckets. That's fine. Oh, lava buckets. We Actually, it implies we have to go find lava. But yeah, so then you just have infinite mobs coming. So it was it was my normal method until the I found the lava slime. Nope. The slime staff method, uh, which is incredibly useful. Yeet! There you go. Uh, yeah. And uh, I'll just cut some trees down on the, along the way to get some wood to then just make a very basic house. I mean, with the yeah, with the wizard in the hallow, I don't need anyone else. Uh, well, with the nurse and the wizard there, I don't need anyone else in there because uh, the wizard can then sell me the pylon. Like as long as you have one NPC there that can sell stuff, you'll be fine. It's like there was no point doing the ocean stuff until I had someone that wanted to be in the ocean, um, or near the ocean even, because the angler couldn't sell me anything. So he wouldn't be able to sell me the pylon, which is very dumb. Oh wait, which thinking about it, I should have put him in second. Oh, whoops, whatever. <laughs> I thought it was fitting that he was next to the ocean, so. Especially, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, but yeah, for, uh, for those that saw the was it the last playthrough we did, was it Thorium? It might have been Thorium. No, I think it was our yo-yo playthrough actually, because I couldn't use the slime staff. Um, you probably would have seen the the setup that you use for this. It's really simple. It's just two ramps, bit of lava, done. <laughs> Infinite money. Yeah, it's better that you do it at the beach, because uh, in hard mode you can get uh, better stuff. So I do... Alright, first of all, let's flatten this, just so it's all even. Right, this is going to be a bit of a pain. I'm going to have to fix that. Uh, you also want it so people can just walk up here without getting stuck. Which they can. I didn't... Okay, sure. So we'll do is we'll go from here. Like if you it, you can do it, I usually do it above ground. Uh, but I mean below ground here works because you can do this. So 
So you want it deep enough so when they jump, they can't escape. So then the lava just keeps killing them. And it does help if you have summons as well, because you can use the summons against them. But this is a great uh, semi-AFK way to get money. Uh, I say semi-AFK because you have to keep uh, initializing the uh, pirate maps. Apart from that, you can't just sit here and not do anything. Oh, look, a wyvern! Ah, oh, So pretty! Auto-clicker. You can do that, but then you have to be tabbed in. Like, this method does still work if, if you uh, go into an online, like, you make a, a, a private server where it's just you on it. Uh, I might actually go down a few more, actually. So that could put a thing above me. Um, yeah, then you can tab out and then do it. Whereas an auto-clicker, you'd still have to be tabbed in to click the uh, things. What, what can we get from this? A cutlass? Uh, an anchor? Uh, a cannon? Shit tons of money. <laughs> Anything else we can get? Discount card. That's going to come in handy. Uh, Willie's turned up, which we haven't got any money, so... No point being disappointed. This also does really, like... This works, like, a lot better if you... Have, don't have this giant hole in the way. I don't know why it's fucking here, but it's very annoying. Fill up with sand. Uh, I could do. No, I was just gonna block it off. Uh, so obviously, what you want is you want two clear bits of land next to it, like either side of the ramp, because uh, then things don't spawn in like caves and like in this little bit, which I'm hoping they might still do. But the idea is they spawn over here and then walk over. Uh, yeah, you might get the occasional one stuck down there, which. Could fill that with sand, actually. That's that sorted. Uh, you obviously don't want sunflowers because you want as many things as possible. But I will keep the sunflower around for now just because I'm building it. These. There, perfect. There, so things should just spawn around here and then climb up and then attack us. Yeah, because it's off screen, so yeah, we just stand here. Yeah, we should be good. Uh, then we'll go across here. Give us just enough space to we'll run across. Uh, let's just test it. Okay, if I can't get out, they can't get out. And I have increased jump height, so there you go. Right, then we do the unthinkable and put someone else down here. Hey, Sword, good to see you guys. It's been a while. How you doing? Uh, bear with me just a moment. Uh, I should probably make this other wood. Eh, whatever. It works. <laughs> just the Tavern Keeper, he doesn't care. At least I'm going to make him not care anyway. Complete ass difficulty of shit and had more of fun sticking sharp needles in your eyes. It was made by one guy who thought enemy bloat was fun at difficulty. He's right, but it doesn't mean it's fun. I mean, yeah, I can I can see where you're coming from. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, we're in adamantite at the minute and we still just keep dying from everything very quickly, which is just very, very dumb. Uh, but I mean, it's it's. It, I mean, overall, it's pretty fun. 
I have not had too many big complaints. Oh, uh, the thing they did with Eater of Worlds was kind of iffy. But I suppose they had to do something with him to make him a competent boss. Uh, so yeah. Did you meet Destroyer? Uh, I did. Uh, he randomly spawned and uh, I died very quickly. I didn't do any damage, but then again, I don't have any weapons. I, I, I used the bee's knees, which didn't go very well, funnily enough. Right, and then it should be just... Oh, nope, wrong thing to make. Riley's back. Uh, this should still work, right? Okay, one, whoops. But yeah. Uh, straight, straight bullshit. I mean, just storm bow jester arrows, right? I mean, what? Like, that's just bound to work, right? <laughs> They wouldn't have made it so that doesn't do anything anymore, right? Right? I mean, if the destroyer is a real pain in the ass, I have the perfect solution for it. It's fine. I'm just going to do what I did against uh, Eater of Worlds. It's fine. And that's use a minecart. Still works. However, the kill time is much, much longer. Ah, fun. There's password. Yeah, it is meant to be like the hardest thing. I mean, it's still less bullshit than Dark Souls, so, you know. Yeah, it is super cool. Tavern Keeper, boop. Right. Uh, oh, fuck. The, the only issue with doing this in sand is that there's no easy way in. Uh, fuck, that's actually a really big problem. Uh Huh. I don't have teleporters either. Shit. Uh... <laughs> Your kill was three minutes? That's not bad. I mean, with Jester Arrows and Silver, yeah, it's... Like, a lot, but... I don't know, it's just... Uh, it's not seen in me, must be... Let's fight round... The ROD. Um, team two. Uh, didn't add a recipe for it. I uh, didn't know team one was doing. I. Uh, oh, run a Discord, right? I forgot that thing existed. Super fun. There you go, 50 damage. 74 damage. For a fucking green slime and out of anti armor. Oh, okay, and this last one. There, I have my way in, so that's fine. Hey, yeah, crabs are stupidly overpowered as well. <laughs> Bit weird, but there you go. Uh, the drop rate from one uh, one in five thousand to one in one in f oh sorry one in five hundred sorry to one in four hundred. I mean, yeah, that's that's a difference. That's a hundred less kills right there. There we go. Alright, because then what I can do is just put two blocks there to get in and then sort this bit out. Cool. Cool. Alright, that shouldn't that shouldn't be enough to break anything, which as I just got gel from it, we should be fine. Take a break play by again. Also works. It was fun until after Wall of Flesh. I mean, it is hard, but... Ah, oh, fuck, things spawn from that. 
Oh, oh, he fell in. That's a good point. Let me actually check this. So I don't want things spawning in there, which they probably will. Yeah. So yeah. Th so th this is how this works: is they jump in, they burn alive, and then all their money and stuff doesn't get burnt because it's too. It's enough lava to hurt them, but it's not enough to burn their items. Oh wait, what I could do? Uh, it's a lot more awkward now, but we do it. Let's fill this in. I mean, I must admit the relics are cool from Master Mode, so that's something. <laughs> Uh, someone told me as well, and so that you're in, uh, Paris, I Oh, ah. well, good thing we're totally doing it legitimately. <laughs> and not cheesing the shit out of it, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, pirates usually aren't the best. So... They're immune to lava, I swear to God. You know, that wouldn't surprise me if they did something like that. Like when an event's going on, uh, or like an evasion or whatever, uh, they made it so enemies are immune to lava and stuff. Oh, that would have been, that would have been really shit. It's like we're doing the... Nah, that wouldn't work. <laughs> it looks like we're doing the minecart method. <laughs> So I just break that block, jump down here, and then, boop, done. Right, so for this to work, we, you do need an NPC, which is why you have the thing at the bottom. So let's uh, head home, annoyingly enough. Uh, dump all this crap. Okay, that works. <laughs> Wasn't expecting all of that to go into a chest, but sure. Uh, put that in there. Uh, sure, whatever. Uh, and then we'll... Go kill some stuff. <laughs> kill some stuff. I don't have the pirate map on me. Oh, I have two? Oh, nice. Even better. Uh, got fire mask, I reply this. Sorry. Uh, if I'm glad they certainly have no drops to warrant the shit difficulty. Oh, great. <laughs> That's a weird. Well, I mean, you start with six accessory slots instead of five. And then you get another, and you get another one from Wall of Flesh. You have seven just for all of Master Mode, which is quite nice. That's something. Also, grass, what? <laughs> the money, oh, it's, it's fair. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you don't want to spoil them. Ah, fair. I, 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 I thought it got censored. Oh, no, it shouldn't have got censored anyway. Whatever. But I appreciate it. That's fair. <laughs> Accessory variety to begin with. Yeah, that's fair. So there's a lot more in mods and stuff. Um, it's a shame they didn't do any like more combination stuff. Like uh, the obsidian shield can still only go into the arc shield, and that's it. Which is kind of a bit, eh, whatever. Um, Stuff like that. There's no upgrade for the hive pack, which would be a bit upsetting. Or at least it doesn't go into anything, so I don't know if there's another item that does it. And the clamps is actually good. Hmm, fair. 
Right, let's fuck. <laughs> Not let's fuck. Shut up. You you know what I meant. My God, I hope you know what you meant. Oh, there we go. I can put I can put bamboo there. It's fine. So then this should work from the west. Oh, thank God. This they. Oh no! Please don't kill me. I at I. I'm I'm just gonna eat myself to be honest. Oh, Borderlands 3's next DLC has been announced. That's cool. I don't care, to be honest. I, I mean, of course. I mean, why why wouldn't that happen? Defeat the... No, I've not done any mech bosses yet. Imagine the mother uh, procedurally gens uh, infinite item upgrades. That's fair. That'd be an interesting one. Uh, I mean, what is it? Fargo's uh, Souls mod, I think it was. Added in a... Um, like, a super endgame item, which was basically every accessory combined into one. Uh, and we actually spawned it in in the end uh, when we were doing Thorium because we had Souls mod enabled. Um, and oh my god. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Like, you equipped it and you just had so much stuff around you and you attacked once and just everything died. Like, it was ridiculous. I finally made it to the pillar, so that's fine. Or pylon, even. <laughs> right, yeah, so if, you, if you're not, like, the dumbest person in existence, uh, this method does work pretty well. Uh, just killing everything. Also, I'm just gonna die again. Which, fucking, I'm glad Fallen Stars don't do any damage to it anymore, because oh, that would be really bad. I suppose it makes sense that they got rid of the Fallen Star damage thing. Uh, at least for players. I don't know if it kills enemies as well, given how much they've ramped up the uh, spawn rate. I'm not done. I'm pretty, I mean, I fucking died when... He's ready to walk all the way back again. Yay! His place is busy, but you don't know who's going to be strong. But more bullshit. I don't know. Because it that would have been really bullshit. I mean, they had the the luck thing, which was such an interesting choice, which is now be fixed. That's good. But hey, at least the star cannon is now usable. <laughs> usable. <laughs> Variety in your pace, fuck you. Yep. Pretty much. I mean, sword, you don't 
have to play on master mode. I mean, you can just stick with expert, which is still decently challenging for the most part and rather balanced. Because most of the master mode exclusive stuff that I've seen, at least, I mean, I haven't gone super far, but all the stuff I've seen has been um, uh, pets. So, like, it's super important. Yeah. Yeah, if I could heal, that'd be great. I'm guessing I can't sleep during a pirate invasion. Oh, I can. Does it speed up time? No. Why would it? <sighs> Get fucked, parrot. Uh, I've got in the feather. I need to start the food games. Is that aimed at me or? Hey, well, that's... Yeah, I probably should actually. That's the point. Two gold. Are you. Isn't there a trophy? Isn't there an achievement in this game for spending a gold at the at the nurse? Or was it ten gold? I can't remember. Yeah, it, that's stupidly expensive. Cause I remember I had to farm for it if I wanted to get it. Cause I never used the nurse. So I remember purposely hurting myself with, I want to say full damage, and then I would heal myself. See if I was like, no, I meant the achievement. So that was that ten gold or not? Because the American healthcare system. God damn it! We will get there. We will get there. If I keep telling myself we will get there. We might actually fucking get there. Also, why did the fireballs give off light? It's weird. I mean, in fairness, anyone can complain. Like, <laughs> just because you beat something doesn't mean you have more right to complain. I guess. And more experience to complain uh, to compare it to. I guess. The gift of sight. Ah, yay! It's becoming daytime. I'm not going to be bombarded by everything again. Now the question is, can I get into my farm without dying? Yeah, but so my point was about not having to do it was um, now that you've tried it and you don't like it, and you don't have to, you can just not continue. That is always an option. But at least you tried it and you realise, you know what, now nah, this is pretty shit. For various reasons.
Oh, fuck off. You, go away. Don't you dare kill my NPC. Jesus Christ. Why did that raid spawn anyway? There you go, this is it. This is this is the entire method. Let me turn these down. There. See as you can see they come up from there. They come up from you can't really see it, there you go. They go up here. Uh, and then they die here. Alright, let's have a look on here. <laughs> That's what I've been meaning to fucking do for ages. Uh Oh wait, did these actually drop stuff? Oh, 0.33%. Oh, wait, do these... Uh, do these have, like, reduced... Uh, drop rates? I think so. Because I, I didn't think these actually spawned anything. Oh, so no, I thought... No, I didn't think they dropped anything, sorry. Like, it was just if you wanted to kill them and stuff. But, whatever. Uh, pirate invasion. Just because of the thing new. Uh, here we go. Uh, oh, the pirate staff would be quite nice. Uh, which we haven't got yet, so that's fine. <laughs> Makes sense. But yeah, so the reason why you want to do this in the uh, at the beach or in the ocean biome or whatever is because every mi uh, every enemy here killed has a chance of dropping a pirate map so usually you can get at least one per per invasion so yeah it's pretty pretty nice but anyway what else we got uh coin gun cutlass uh discount card we we want the lucky coin more than anything else uh gold ring and discount card are nice Pirate stuff would be really good as well for as a weapon. Uh, what do you drop? It's just the same things again. Fine Dutchman. Oh, the Fine Dutchman has a relic. Oh, as well as the Black Spot. Ooh, spooky. We we're getting that for a while because we can't actually kill those. So. There is something new. I'm guessing it's that then. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. So the room, just mad about how much they hyped this up. Uh, did do much with it? Yeah, it's fair. Ooh, cutlass. Oh, anim oh, uh, that's also the other thing. Uh, you can also get the mechanical. Uh, summons as well from these because <laughs> obviously you're in hard mode so everything has a chance of dropping them so there you go great way to get those just do prime now he's a joke Yeah, as long as you don't have a Wraith turn up, you're fine. And you don't accidentally break this. Which I almost did. You know, I mean, I probably still die several times, but yeah. Do you need a Mega Shark? Oh, that was the other thing. How do I make the Mega Shark? Souls of Might, which is Destroyer? Yeah. Okay. Uh... Right. I couldn't remember which souls it was. Uh, this does go quicker if you're able to uh, get a minion over there. There we go. So if you have like the spider gear, uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, my, my, little, my little sharky's just vibing. He's got, he's got on board of all the waters. So we thought, you know what? Go chill in lava. Eat things up, you know? You'd be in with an onyx blaster. Oof. 
for all these. Oh, also you can sell all the uh, golden stuff as well for extra things. Uh, we're at 34 gold, by the way. <laughs> In case anyone there uh, want to keep trying to go 35. Uh, what am I looking for this? What the hell's Pirate's Curse? Oh, fuck. Just gonna sit here and wait. Yeah, detached by Pirate's Curse. What the fuck is Pirate's Curse? I don't, the wiki hasn't been updated. Alright, Scouts, here we go. There's a hard mode enemy that spawns during the part. Spawns when a, uh, the pirate invasion of, uh, event, blah, 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 when a pirate captain is defeated. It will fly and move through blocks. If the player dies, it will not momentarily hover and despawn. Absolute fucks. They knew about it, and they thought, you know what? Fuck people that want money. They they can go fuck themselves. Also, I'm gonna die again. That's fun. Also, I'm killing this stupid flying Dutchman with the Nimbus. <laughs> Season nine percent cleared. Oh, I missed it. Rip. Uh, don't go so. I was also a few hours yesterday. Uh, you have really bad slices. Yeah, I mean, Poland's been. I mean, I'm guessing that's like hay fever and stuff that you're referring to. It's not. Yeah, it's not great. Uh, so I've been suffering for a while. I've still got sniffles and stuff, but for the most part, I'm not too bad. Oh, oh no, please don't kill me. Don't know why I ask. Took every method of cheesing the game and ruined it. Not. Every method. <laughs> Almost every method. Oh my god, I do nothing to them. Nothing. Yeah, leave. Oh, she's gonna fucking still be there. Jump, jump, jump. Good. Also, rip mechanic. Now we play the waiting game. And ones that have minions across the us could be in by going one direction. That's my plan. <laughs> I mean we technically did that with Eater of Worlds. We just used a minecart and just cut it in half. Yay! We did it! Didn't get anything for it though. But we did it! Yay! Nope, 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 nope. Oh, Goblin Tinker is dead. Uh, summons the Black Spot mount. <gasps> oh my god, it flies. Oh, this is just like permanent flight. It's not exactly quick, but... <laughs> okay, no, this is quicker than I thought it was. Oh shit, no, this is good. But also we're gonna have to increase the relic uh arena now. Oh yeah, this is this is awesome. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm down. <laughs> 